What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of the Tech once again, and welcome to yet another video. Today, we're checking out a new game called Dreamscaper, and it's advertised as an ARPG rogue light type title. And for the most part, I guess that's accurate. I think that there's some nuance here that could be discussed on the actual type of game. Um, it's from a developer that only has three people working on it. So it's a pretty small game and it's currently in early access on Steam. For both of those factors, the game is fantastic and I highly recommend checking it out. I believe it's on sale for about $14. So if you like this style of game, we're talking about you know roguelike aspects of gameplay meaning that you're gonna go through you may fail you'll start back at the beginning and every time certain things change mostly here what changes are the abilities you're using and upgrading as well as the weapons you're using and upgrading as well this is the first playthrough and highlights from it so check it out I hope you get some good impressions there and find another title that you may enjoy playing also just to give you an idea think like things like dead cells or hollow knight and so on and so forth the arpg aspect is pretty much just the point of view uh, think bastion something along those lines and it does control a little bit like a twin stick shooter so i definitely highly recommend using a gamepad uh, over mouse and keyboard for this particular title anyways enjoy and I'll see you later over on twitch.tv slash blind run every day, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Adios. After two years of development, we are happy to finally share the core Dreamscaper experience with all of you. We will be releasing frequent free updates with new levels, items, enemies, and gameplay features over the coming months. Okie doke. So every month or so they're releasing new content. Dreamscaper is best experience with the gamepad. Alright, we got one. So it looks like we have some sort of faceless character. And from what I understand, it seems like there's something going on with lucid dreaming. So I think we were just dreaming. Oh, that's cool. So it's like a video game. Like a different video game that you play for the tutorial. Here's the pro here's here's what's weird that well maybe not, and then it was that to blow them up. Is this game gonna be multiplayer or just solo? I don't know. It's in early access. I I didn't research it. I don't like to research in that much until I've played some. It doesn't look like it, but I could be incorrect. Rock and roll. We're getting we're getting an idea of the base mechanics here. All right, what do we pick up? Fast travel, click in. I guess we just open whatever this is, right, for now? See what happens. So slingshot, uh, slingshot two. Poof. Give me that sand, I got items to buy, sir. Get me sand, health potions, <clears throat> get some more sand. I don't know how to use a health potion yet, but I guess we'll figure it out. The art design is pretty fantastic. Check this out. What's this over here? Boss time. That hurt me too. Dang it. <clears throat> ah, tornadoes! I get the idea of how to beat the boss, but I don't think we're gonna beat him the first try. Oof, yep, there it is. 
I don't remember getting this hammer, but it's sick. I do wish there was a lock on or something. He's moving slow. Got him. Not the tornadoes. And dead. Son of a brisket. All right, so this game. All right, so this game is in early access right now, but it is basically, I wouldn't even call it an ARPG. It's right up there. It's basically a roguelike, but I'd say a roguelite. And it looks like we generate different weapons each time. So you do want to go through and find the more powerful weapons if you can. Coffee increases your attack speed. Seems like a good thing, right? Oh, I'm full. Oh, you got me. All good. All right. So, crashing wave strikes, defense 20, lightning damage, wet duration. That might be better. Or wind up car, successful parries temporarily boost your movement speed. I don't think we're gonna parry that whale. Leech effects 15% plus 5%. Yeah, fuck yeah, let's do that. We have 109 left, so we could buy whatever this is down here. What is it? Purify adds one bomb. Okay. Yeah, we're doing much more damage now. Got him. Let's go. Did it knock me back? Oh, 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 oh. No, I didn't want to go back to sleep yet. Cause we're gonna run, we're gonna waste the whole day again. What if there's special abilities? Oh my God. Cause the, uh, the Logitech, the Logitech doesn't work very well. It's all, and it's not dark because of the lighting and it was working yesterday, but then it fucked up. So, I'm gonna just have a full cam link set up with the Lumix for the green screen so it'll work better and more reliably. We're going to get on just fine. I have to go and compose a strong but softly worded email. <laughs> but I'll see you at work, Cassidy. Yeah, absolutely. No social distancing on planes. Yeah, I'll pass on flying right now. And that, that could be without COVID and I'd pass on flying. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. I am always down to talk about comics, especially Song Street. I'm Cassidy, by the way. I'm Allison. Hey, Allison, you got any sweet moves? Allison's Wonder. Starting to understand some of the memories more, though, or the enemies more. You ever played Dead Cells? Yeah, I played Dead Cells. Mm hmm. Broadsword or the shield? Let's see. 38 DPS. We're going to take that. Because I feel like our damage is low. 75 damage for upheaval. Leech is 5% of attack damage, 50% critical damage. 
Huh. I, I'm wondering what these are. That, okay. Yeah, every time I've been robbed, it's been in, in like, in my home. I mean, I was only jumped once, and that was in Austin. Yeah, we have much better attacks now. Makes this uh, this part way easier. So it's kind of like that same grind, right? Uh, of any roguelite where you're just kind of, yeah, you're gonna replay some of the places, but they're gonna pr procedurally generate. And then from there, you can kind of get more and more, just stronger and stronger. I'd love to say that I'm a badass, but I'm not. Definitely can just get my ass kicked. If you haven't gotten your ass kicked, then I don't think you're telling the truth about Jack's shit. We made it way further than we did last time, though. We can go here and go to the left. No, that's a key. We could buy a key. How much is the key again? Oh, no, we have a key. We have a key. Hell yeah. Let's go. Oh, when you buy a health potion and then you just got full health right here. All right, so that's the full health station. Uh, black hole pulls in. We don't have enough money for that. Crystal barrier. Automatic barrier that absorbs damage before generating. That's, yeah, so. Let's see. And that is 67 damage. No. Let's just go to the cafe, see who's chilling. Let's see. I mean, like, I really wanted the crit damage. So, like, we're going to look for home. Yeah, here you go. Here's Mr. Crit. Bruce pulls out a book and encourages Cassie to read it herself. Man, dude. Come on. I don't think they should allow you to have the same ability twice, even if it's two different levels. Because I think this the, this ability does make it a little too easy. But, I mean, I'm sure the, the game difficulty goes up, too, eventually. Hold on, chat. I'll check in a sec. Oh, fuck it. We're going. Gotta wait for my shield to regenerate before we can run across those again. Like these tiles have stuff to do on them, but I mean, from the way it feels and plays. Whoa. Uh oh. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, Andy disappears. Oh, we missed him. I don't know how to... Why is my block not working? Cool boss, but I think he's too easy. Well, I say that. Oof. The final god mode's crazy. Got him. Yeah, it's too easy. Another boss down. So we did it. I think we're getting the hang of this game. There's only one direction for that one to go. There's really only one direction for this to go. There's only one way for this to get any light. It's this part, like this part doesn't make any sense to me. 
Cause like we can still never light this one up. Oh, I'm a dummy. We got it. Yep, front flip, gotcha. Recycle. I hear you, Pooh. I mean, like, you wanna you wanna see gameplay and stuff before you make a purchasing decision. I just already know I'm gonna play it no matter what, if that makes sense. Cause I know that that's what the stream wants to watch. You know what I mean? Oh, what a rowdy move. Do we want the baseball bat or what is this? This launcher looks sick. Decent drencher 1000. Projectiles collected plus 25%. Max lucid. Front flip. Broadsword. I mean, the only other thing I would do would be the broadsword, but we're kind of doing a crit build. So I think we're going to buy that. 457 left. I think we leave it alone. My name is Carl. I work for our local paper, Red Haven, today. Would you mind if I ask you a few quick questions? Uh, look, I'll be real with you. People have been blowing me off all day. I just need a comment on the new park policy, and before you answer yes... I don't know why that doesn't hurt him as bad as I want it to. Burn, baby, burn. We aren't going to talk about sides and picking sides. Because everybody's going to have different opinions. A. B. Guess what? Everybody does good things and everybody does bad things. And to judge per people on only the good things they do or only the bad things they do is the ultimate evil. That's a plasma ball. Adds shock to all of your attacks. It's pretty good. So, you could do shock and then we could do the flamethrower or the weave. Probably the flamethrower. Or we could just get grasp the shadow three. All right, let's flamethrower it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, this isn't easy. the best build we had so far was like the the arrows. Oh my god! Of course. If we would have explored one more further, that's fine. We'll come back here for later. Treasure. Nice. And that is this whole area. So then we go get, we're out of bombs. We have a thousand seven. I think we go here. Oh, we don't really want bombs. So we have a thousand. So really we can only get one item. So grasp of the shadow. Negative 15% cooldown, but well, we really need a second. And then we go here. I think we can skip the boss, so I don't think we have to do the boss. I don't feel like, oh shit, we have to do the boss thing. Holy crap.
out of bombs. Just last night, loving it so far. The atmosphere is great. I think it needs some polish on puzzles. Yeah, some of the... I mean, the puzzles are just kind of there, right? They're not extremely complicated, which I don't mind. Like, But then sometimes they did... I think there was one where I got a little confused so far. So far. Where we got the unlock here. Do 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 do. Wake up. Hey Bruce, are uh, are you okay? You're looking kind of dour. Dour days, Cassidy. Hmm. Do you want me to leave you alone? Yeah, he's like a. <laughs> It's great because he's like a historian of garbage. <laughs> I promise. Some other time, I'll take your ear, talk your ear off. Oh, sorry to hear. Don't worry about it. Drink up and get to peeling that label. Eve's perception too. Well, boys, that is gonna have to wrap it up. For today's stream tomorrow hopefully look i think this game was pretty good uh, for early access and three developers it's on point we didn't have any crashes it runs smooth i like the way the tiles lay out i like the setting um i like the, i genuinely like the story i like the idea of like using lucid dreams tell wonder biscuit hi and i will tell you bye-bye thanks guys see you later